this is a segment called Picture This. I'm going to show a bunch of pictures, and you tell us what's going on in the pictures. Ready? <clears throat> How about this little number? <laughs> That's uh, Robert Kelly and Nick DiPaolo in, uh, back in Massachusetts. <laughs> Nothing? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Well, that's a big gay marriage, right? It sure is. Yeah. Now try try keeping those muscles now that they're married. <laughs> <laughs> he only thinks in one term. We gotta pick out. We gotta pick out rugs. <laughs> All you do is push-ups. You know people. <laughs> you know the the gay couples that are uh, more straight-looking that get married are like great. I had to show those two. Why? Those guys look like a couple of macho individuals. I don't think anybody here would have the balls if you were there to titter and laugh. If you saw those two get married, you'd be like, oh, that's cool, guys. Who would titter? It look like they'll kick ass. <laughs> but not, it's not, open... if you, not if you saw those jeans from behind. They're assless. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that uh, Ross Bennett's in the corner watching the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that guy, he looks a little creepy. <laughs> now, don't you think, though, all jokes to the side. If you're going to be married, you're the earliest gay marriage people. You don't get dressed like that for the marriage. That freaks out the whole nation, man. That looks like what everyone's afraid of. A bunch of s and M guys getting married and, you know... He should wear a dress. One of the guys grand. should wear a dress so it looks Not more normal. Well, okay, but I meant... <laughs> <laughs> but, but does it, though? Well, anything's gonna look more normal. That's frightening. I don't think you give white people enough credit for what they're scared of and not scared of. I don't think they're scared of that, though. I mean, the average, are you scared of that? I'm, I'm, you represent the average white guy. He does. Right uh, I totally am, first of all. Yes. Um, I totally am. Uh, I just feel bad for the guy in the hat because I know this was not his dream wedding. You know what, what I mean? Like, he'd been going through the catalogs and stuff like that, and they're like, let's just wear our street clothes. You know, but, so he's yeah. really But like Paul, that. listen to me. Uh, when Patrice brings up race, if you've watched the show as more often as you claim, sure. I don't like to change the subject. Let's get <laughs> racial. Right. He I said just, the I average know. white person, does that scare us? Uh, Speaking for the white people, where are you from? Some place uh, white? Philadelphia, what? Pennsylvania. Ugh, how dare uh, you? That's, I'm kidding. That's, 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 another, that's another Boston in Philadelphia, too. Can uh, I see some? No, I'm not, I'm not no. as a white person, I'm not scared <laughs> of that. Does that disturb you? There's, there's a lot of Midwestern white Wait, bubbleheads out there. This guy here, look at that guy's shirt. He's, where where he's are the white people at? He's from Goofyville, North Carolina, wherever he's from. Is he scared of that? Let me ask you something. White guy who's talking to from Goofyville, North Carolina? The one that's going, who, me? In a goofy way. You, sir. <laughs> white guy, do you feel representing the white race? Because that's what you're doing at this moment. So be. <laughs> do you feel as a white person that we're more, ex we're less, get, like, what he's basically implying <clears throat> is that our people, correct me if I'm wrong, is that our people have lost any semblance of moral uh, value that we don't know right, wrong, we don't want to judge anything. So he, is he saying, is that true, that that picture doesn't freak you out a little? Well, there's two questions. I don't think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he really is a little Carolina. He's got a southern accent. Go ahead. Uh, no, I don't think people lost their sense of morals. White people, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that white people have, I think... Uh, so you think, but does this oh, picture bug it? The, the, Let him finish the second part. He's not going to finish. He doesn't want to oh, lose his uh, job at the plant. That's why he won't stay. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this next picture. Oh. Ready? One more oh, picture. So Come on. That one. Oh. <laughs> Michael Moore got the palm door. <laughs> Thank God. You know what I love? Oh, what a he, freedom fighter. Uh -huh. I love that he. I love that he won. He won the palm door. So he's so so, so he's showing us the palm de fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. I hate to be. I'll tell you. I'd like to, to show him the door. <laughs> <laughs> Charles. <laughs> 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 What are you saying? I, I really, I hate to not know what white people know, but what is the Palm Door? <laughs> Some French boy to give it Cannes Film Festival. You know Cannes Film Festival? Oh, well... Soul Plane uh, won it last year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. What about the... What about the 11-year-old sex braces? Now, we talked about sex braces before, but now we're talking about 11-year-old kids Ooh. wearing these sex braces. They pull it off, that's all the sex. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it or what, but don't you think this is finally the end of a uh, crumbling civilization or no? no? Forget what? about <laughs> you wish you'd been there when you were 11. We all know that. <laughs> what about it, though? How it's old scary. were you when you first started having sex? How old were you when you wanted to first start having sex? <gasps> Probably 13. With guys or girls? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when, when, I told you I was a f 
when I was 12. I, I assume. I assume. I was a when I was 12. I know, Colin. He wants to let you know. But before. before I should be leaving those two guys. Right. Before, let me ask you. Before you was assaulted by whatever. I wasn't Police assaulted. assaulted you. It doesn't matter, but you I was cute. Cute. I mean, wasn't assaulted. Cute. He did it voluntarily. Oh, those, <laughs> those were his old bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I remember I this girl when I was in uh, literally kindergarten. I'm not kidding. And she used to let us uh, go behind the cars and like touch her, I remember touch that, her yeah. butt. And she was uh, like five years old. And did you have to pay her? Hallie. Her name was Hallie. Did you have to pay her? How old was you? I was in uh, kindergarten. Don't say a name. She's sitting home with the kids right now. <laughs> 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 Can Hallie, you imagine her your mom? Hallie Florino. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> We have some audience members who need to say something to somebody in their lives, but can't bring themselves to do it, so we're having the comedian say it for them. Our first audience member is called Steve from Connecticut. Steve, what do you want to say? I have a message for the president about weed. Um, first of all, <laughs> let me just say one thing. Todd Glass will handle it. Todd? Yes. Have you ever heard of Florino Builders? No, go ahead. <laughs> okay, you want me to go? Um, I'd like you to go, because okay. I, you called back the one that I ended the last segment with. I already covered that one, stupid, right, but go we, ahead. Here we go. Um, somebody stinks. Uh, <laughs> I, th I think up to this point, uh, the reason they haven't legalized pot, Mr. President, maybe they haven't been honest with you. Every time they have those rallies, they're always telling you you can make rope with pot, you can make shirts with it. But what they forget to tell you is the real reason they want to legalize it, and maybe if I'm honest with you, you'll legalize it. You can also get f with it and giggle with your friends. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. 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 Go back now? You guys go together. Okay. Thank you. There you go. All right. Next is Matthew. Matthew, who's your message to? My message is to all the homeboys hanging outside my apartment. Oh, Matthew, Paul Tompkins is going to take care of things for you. What? This, uh... All right, Paul, this was not the problem I was briefed on, but what's your problem again, sir? The homeboys hanging outside his building. Oh, those homeboys. Oh, Listen, no. why don't you knock it off and go on somebody else's stoop or uh, something with your... Uh, 40s and uh, stealing rims or shooting each other or what have you. <laughs> Quit it. Ah, I hope that helped. Wasn't really my question. Okay. Did you, like, like, he, did you think we could get somebody whiter than him to solve this problem? And we did somehow. Mm -hmm. I know it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Now here's Sean. What's ailing you, Sean? I've been with my wife for six years and she still won't let me be her backdoor man. But you're still a baby. How could you be a six years mad aid boy? All right, Patrice O'Neill is going to fix things for you. So backdoor, backdoor meaning what, what we think it means. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Women are very, very uh, competitive and jealous, and they don't like men to enjoy anything without them. So stick something in your back door, and while she's looking, go, jealous? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Oh, hope. Hope. This is hope. Hope, who do you have a message for? Um, You're not married to that last guy, right? No. All right, go ahead. I want to tell my mom that I work for a porn magazine for women called Sweet Action. Oh. All right, you're in luck. Greg Giraldo will help you. Greg, tell her mom. Well, there's, uh, there's good news and bad news. You, you've raised a productive and ambitious daughter. Yeah. Uh, the bad news is she's obsessed with c <laughs> Oh. I thought it was the women. You know, oh, I see. On the, uh... On the, on the other hand, you know, on the other hand, it, she works for a porn magazine, but it could be worse. She could just be a whore. <laughs> Get a point, Mom. That's it, folks. Tough love from Tough Crowd. We'll be right back. Oh, thank you.